Oregon is walking back its first in the nation drug decriminalization policy from 2021, which had ended criminal penalties for possessing small amounts of drugs like heroin, methamphetamine, LSD and oxycodone. Democratic Governor Tina Kotek signed the new bill Monday. Supporters of the change in direction say it's a positive step towards addressing overdoses, while opponents say it could violate civil rights. The legislation reinstates jail terms of up to six months for minor drug possession, empowers police to seize drugs and prevents public use, and encourages redirecting offenders to treatment instead of jail. It also allows for expunging possession charges. However, those unable or unwilling to seek treatment may still face up to 180 days in jail. Kotek emphasized that their efforts in this legislative session are aimed at supporting Oregonians dealing with addiction maintaining community safety and minimizing the negative impacts on communities of color. That I've directed my administration to work closely with each of the implementing authorities, the courts, the Oregon Judicial Department, the Oregon Public Defense Commission, the cities, the counties, law enforcement, DAs, to set expectations to mitigate projected impacts to communities of color and ensure that treatment pathways to, for individuals, which is one of the goals, are balanced with the accountability outcomes related to the criminal justice system. Marijuana and psilocybin mushrooms for therapeutic use remain unaffected. $211 million will be set aside for residential treatment facilities and recovery houses and programs designed to offer alternatives to jail following encounters with law enforcement. The changes take effect September 1st.